Hi right, hey everybody, we're doing something a little bit different here today. Um, back on the bench, but what I'm doing today is I'm, uh, I'm uh, drilling some holes in this stainless steel tube. And what I'm going to use it for is aerating the uh, copper uh, cupric uh, chloride solution that I use for uh, for etching copper. And uh, I've got uh, I've got some, this is Delrin, which is an acetyl plastic, and uh, it's a... Uh, chemical proof and I've got some uh, tempered glass coming and what we're going to do is going to make a little uh, a tank an immersion tank uh, for etching copper and what I got set up here is a number I think it's 71 73 drill which is 024 and I uh, got the jewelers uh, drill out and I've got this uh, clamped up on my bench here and I just going through and putting let's bump the, bump the camera there sorry about that I'm going through and putting a, a string of holes in this and this is where the I'll pump air into one end of the tube plug the other end and uh, that will cause a, a stream of bubbles to rise up out of this and aerate the solution which causes a, a reaction in the cooper chloride to uh, facilitate some real good uh, etching speed. I can etch a two mil board in five minutes. Anyway, and I'm just doing this by eye, it's not real critical. I just got this lined up so it, it drills you know, on the same axis pretty much across. And I just loosen it up, move it down about a quarter of an inch or five, six millimeters. Maybe a little bit more. And you gotta go slow because it's stainless. I'm using a tungsten carbide uh, reduced shank drill. I get from Drill Bit City. That's a great place for uh, these little carbide drill bits. Anyway, so you get the idea. You just march right down the old tube here, drilling a series of holes. And you got to make sure uh, you know everything's clamped down really well because if you <laughs> if anything moves at all while you're uh, drilling with this this real fine tungsten carbide drill, it's only about twice the diameter of a human hair, but that'll make good bubbles. And then I'm trying to keep it all in line, you know, so the bubbles come out in a straight stream. The bubbles won't care, but I want to try and keep it uniform anyway I'll uh, as I keep going on I won't get the uh, glass till tomorrow and I'm gonna put it together with silicon I'll show you how I do that but I uh, just wanted to let you see how I go about putting the holes in this and it's not that hard you just gotta be careful to make sure you you know have it lined up on the axis so you, your drill is right over the center of the tube few minutes you can go right down here make yourself a pretty good bubbler oh there's the phone hey everybody as you can see uh, we're not exactly on the bench um this is the uh little uh, tank i came up with for uh, doing my etching uh, piece of stainless steel tube down here at the bottom with a bunch of perforations in it we got airline running in for agitation this is a piece of uh, uh, acrylic or not acrylic it's a uh, Delrin plastic and some aluminum feet and some tempered glass uh, on sandwiched on both sides of the uh, Delrin with uh, silicon rubber glue and I'm out here in the kitchen at uh, Gary's lab Actually, it's Gary's kitchen, but uh, because I didn't, yeah, if the if the water seal wasn't working well, I wanted to go in on the kitchen floor instead of the bench in the lab. So anyway, it seems to be working good, and uh, I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna modify this slightly. I've got some parts coming in. I'm gonna add a pump and uh, a, a separate reservoir with a heater in it, an immersion heater, then I could preheat the water and then get it circulating around and. It should keep the uh, water warm for the four or five minutes it takes to etch a board. 
So I'm real happy with this. Um, <clears throat> we'll be back later. Thanks. Hey everybody, here we're going, uh, going on the uh, etching. And you can see right now, the little board in there. He dropped it in just a few seconds ago. And, uh, we're flying on Handycam here. On a kind of, it's kind of a hard day, hard way to get this. Anyway, I'll show you what, how it turns out. But uh, this is the setup here. I got to trim this off. That's uh, I'm going to make that into a lid. And uh, there's my air pump. I, I preheated the water, so I'm not using the uh, heating pack right now. Uh, we'll see how that works out later. All right, we'll be back. Thanks. Well, that took about. Uh, I had to re rejuvenate the stuff. It uh, it had gotten pretty weak, so I made a new batch, a fresh batch. I was cooking it away for meh, about two or three minutes, and there was, nothing was happening. So I made a fresh batch of a two to one ratio. Threw a little copper, old fret, old copper in there, and uh, it's a little out of focus there. Sorry about the wobble, but uh, in a few seconds, it was eh, probably two minutes, three minutes, all done. Alright everybody, we'll uh, clean it up, tin it, and start uh, populating.